hi this is lori the ml pro welcome back to my youtube channel i'm super excited to have you guys here don't forget to subscribe like and turn on my notifications thank you hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and in case you're a subscriber thank you so much for coming back my name is lori the ml pro and this is my youtube channel i think it's about 9 30 in the morning i have my makeup done i have everything set up and i'm ready to make a video how are you soon anyways guys i decided to do a question tag video and the last one i put up on my channel was about two years ago and i decided to like just redo it because this is me trying to get back to making youtube videos and I just thought it would be nice to like do another get to know me video so that my new subscribers can like, get to know me and then it just like, start off again and it's like a whole new video so why not if not so if you are interested in getting to know me again don't be shy sit back grab a couple of My name is Lolly Collusion. So Lolly ML Pro, right? Lolly is my own name. ML Pro Beauty is the brand name. And you know, but then it became stock. Everyone got really familiar with Lolly ML Pro put together. I and mean, some people even thought that Lolly ML Pro was the brand name. But no, it was just my social media handle name. You know, I wanted people to know my name and know my brand name as well. So ML Pro Beauty is the is the makeup outfit, the beauty part of my brand. You know, I render makeup services, I train people, I do semi permanent eyebrows, I do product reviews for makeup brands, I do brand promotion for makeup brands, and all of that is MO Pro Beauty for you. Know, this is Lola Anyway, I let Lola Day, or Lola Day Commercial. Lola Day is a Yoruba name, I'm Yoruba. I'm from Oyo State. I'm based in Ibadan in Nigeria. Um, I'm from Oyo State. Ibadan is the state's capital. <laughs> okay, Ibadan is the capital of Oyo State. But then I'm not from Ibadan. I'm from Oyo State. I'm from Ogumosho in Oyo State. I've never been there. I don't know what my hometown is like. So I shuffle Lagos and Ibadan. You know, we rendered the service both in Lagos and in Ibadan. So, I grew up in Lagos anyway. I, grew up, I was born in Lagos and I grew up in Lagos. Uh, at a point in my life, I was outside the country. I was in the UK, I was in London. And then I got back after a while, like after a couple of years. Um, probably in another video, I'm going to be telling you guys why I came back to Nigeria. I didn't come back by choice. <laughs> and I was not deported by the immigration officers or whatever. But I'm gonna tell you guys what happened. <laughs> now it's not funny. It's not funny. Actually, it's something I feel like if it didn't happen then, I don't know what would happen to me right now. But hey, in another video, I'm gonna address that so that some of you guys can like learn and all of that. I graduated from the University of Ibadan um, in 2016, and I served in all your states as well, Ministry of Youth and Sports and uh, I studied philosophy 
even though I wanted love, but I'm glad that I didn't even take that because I probably would not have time for my business. Because at a point, I already knew that I was going to be a business person. Yeah. How I even ended up sitting in Ibadan, I'm going to be addressing that in another video sometimes. It was very, very funny. You know when you pay someone a whole lot of money to bring you to your preferred state, and then the person calls you when your relocate your um, deployment letter is out, and the person is opening his or her mouth to tell you that you have been posted to the northern part of Nigeria, you know the Boko Haram parts. And I'm like, the money that I paid you, call like I don't know. Three things about me. Okay, I love. I love. No, this is love. I love the color green. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I've got green going on somewhere in my eyes. I got a green ring. I got a um, I got green nails on. I got a green tag top on. Like it's really hot. I've got um yeah, I've got a green strap. See that? What else again? My blood is green. <laughs> I'm sure. I love green. I really cannot explain why. But I love green. And the funny thing is, I don't even have major green stuff. But yeah, if you see me, you probably catch me with green most of the time. And what are they doing? I'm very. I like talking. I'm a talker too. Like I talk a lot. And I like to. Talk. I talk a lot, but I'm not a good listener. Um, yes, I'm not a good listener. I like talking. I like talking. I like talking. I like talking. I like talking to people. But what I mean by talking is, if you ask me a question, I would like to go into details. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad. It's good because you know it's good to be detailed and all of that. I mean, it's bad because we are talking too much. That was when they not pick one thing out of what you said, and you're like. The other things that I said, you call. In I took a lot. As you can see, I'm still talking. <laughs> Anyways, another thing that I like is I am in love with girl. Another thing about me is I'm in love with girl. I like being in love. Does that make any sense? <laughs> Over time, my videos, you're gonna find out things about me. Recently, I've come to realize that. I've been in love, but me, you know, most of my relationship is intact. Most of my love life is fine. You know, everything about me will be fine. Although my whole life is not dependent on my relationship, I love love. I just love the whole idea of being in love with somebody, you know, and yeah, that's it. Three things about me that most people do not know is that many people think that I'm hardworking. Ah, she's very really hardworking, she's strong, she's a go getter, blah 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 blah. Actually, I'm a weakling. That's what most people don't know. I get very disturbed by the littlest things, like the Things, I mean, by things that you probably think do not even make any sense, but I, I can be broken easily. I might not show it to you, I might not say it to you, but I get broken easily. Like, you might just say something and you might not even know. Multiple, multiple be awoke. <laughs> the hard working part, I am lazy. Ha! Lazy, bro. I'm lazy, like, I'm very lazy. I'd rather stay in bed, press my phone, and does it, and have people around me do everything for me. No, it's not pride. It's not pride. But if I have the opportunity to not work again and just be in the house, at a point I wanted to, I said, if people ask me what, what, what's my occupation, what do you want to become in life? I want to become a housewife. It's a very short band. I'll just be in my room, DJ, praying Lord. Bless my husband, give him work, give him money, let me just be flexing in the house and take care of the kids. I just want everything to be at the house. 
But then my own, now let me not tell you, my lazy is not lazy. My lazy is not your kind of lazy. Because I I like to be very productive. So when I'm in the house and I don't have anything to do, I'm probably researching and I'm just finding out one thing or the other and I'm doing one thing. Why did I start my channel? I started my YouTube channel because actually I started my YouTube channel. Okay, I started it then because I wanted to be uploading videos, tutorials, teaching people how to do makeup and all of that. But then I would record videos. I'm not so good with doing makeup on myself. So I got like really frustrated because I'll see people do it effortlessly and then when I'm done with mine it looks odd. Now this is I mean about my makeup. If you see me do any other thing, then yes I'm gonna be putting up tutorials to teach people how to do makeup. Um, on other people, it can be very detailed, yes, because I'm gonna be like in bed. I have some old videos back then, but of course, I have an updated routine, so you might want to stay glued to my channel because you're gonna be getting tutorials once in a while. Another reason why I'm back to making videos on YouTube is because I wanted to like talk to people. Now, this is where my talking is good. I realized that I end up talking to people and they make sense of what I see right and they come back to ask seek advices you know something i mean the honest truth is you might not be very good with your own advice but then you find out that when you see so many of these things to people I, I find i find out that i think very well for people if you ask me i'm very full of ideas i like being real i like hitting the nail on the head even though for me it's another it's another work but yeah i mean i like motivating people, I like inspiring people. If you tell me, oh, I think I want to do this, not like, I'm there thinking for you. I'm like, oh my God, you can do this, you can do that, blah, 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 blah. Um, yes, we're gonna be sharing our faith journey, you know, how we spend time with God, how we're getting close to God, what efforts we're making on a daily basis. I'm obviously not the perfect person. No one is perfect, I already have my, you know, sometimes I wake up in the morning and I cannot even be bothered to pray because I am overwhelmed by all of the things that I'm going through and I just get you know, sometimes I do, I'm just like pumped like yeah like you know my god I'm full of praises thanksgiving praying thanking god and all of that so I mean I really want to be in that spirit every single time so I really would not mind sharing my journey with you guys and I really would like to learn from you guys. What do you do? What are you doing differently that's helping you with your faith journey and all that? Yes, lifestyle, you know, maybe sometimes you guys like see what my day is like, what I end up doing. I'm really not an event person because I can be very, very shy. Um, as much as I like to be with people, I'm, I, I have this thing. I'm, I don't know if inferiority complex, you know, the feeling of you feel like you're not up to task. You feel like when you feel like you don't, you're not enough. When you feel like, oh, you're most people, but you don't belong there. You feel like, oh my God, you know, no matter how good I look sometimes, if I go out, I need like 100 people to tell me you actually look amazing. And then I need like a mirror to see myself and I'm like, okay, yes, no bad. You know, but that feeling is not good. We're gonna be addressing it in another video. We're gonna talk about it. Who else is on that table? You know, you might look all, I have it all together, but sometimes, you know, we all have that thing that we battle with. Our mind is inferior, inf inferiority complex, if I'm correct. And yes, I can be very, 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 very paranoid. Yes, I have this thing for pranks guys i had this thing from pranks so i think i'm gonna go right into making prank videos and i really have some ideas and i have some people i want to try it on and i cannot wait to do that video <laughs> okay so who inspired me the most to make a youtube video to make a youtube channel okay um i'm gonna be very honest i'm sure she doesn't even know this okay there's this lady I mean, an amazing woman. She's a woman of God. She's fantastic. You guys need to check her out. Uh, Pastor Mrs. MC like me. She doesn't even know this, but I remember then, like a few years back, when we just started like talking. I mean, she really liked me. Like, she just had a thing for me. 
and then she's like okay there's really something about you that is special you might go through stuff you might just understand that your life is probably your life is like a is 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 a story that people are going to learn from and just know understand that every single day whatever i mean just understand that people are going to learn from you you know from what you do from what you say it's going to inspire them it's going to motivate them okay everything that's going to happen with me everything that's been happening in my life everything that i've been through i should just understand that um, um, it's happening to me so that I can tell the story, so that I can motivate other people, so I can inspire other people. Because I'm going to realize that when things happen to me, I mean, I get really down, like, oh my God. But then when it happens to someone else, I'm always watching out, like, oh my God, don't make that mistake. I've been there and done that. So I'm always like sad. Why is it happening to me? Why? But then so i end up talking to people about my experiences and they learn from it some people will laugh about it some people will make fun of it but then some people are learning from it and that's really what i'm about she didn't tell me to go on podiums but you know she just told me to just be conscious of i mean to i mean don't just be carried away with the, like, the fame and all of that she's like oh just make sure that every single day they're making efforts to inspire and motivate somebody out there with what you do how you do it and all of that what equipment do i have presently i have a canon 60 camera i have ring lights i have lighting all those light up setups and all that i have um i have a makeup chair i have um i have i have a macbook for my editing but you know the amazing thing I had a Canon 600D camera. I had all of that, about all of that, two years ago when I started. But then I can be very lazy, like I told you. So when I make videos, when I record, I got really fed up and I could not be bothered to start editing. So that really delayed me from putting up videos on YouTube. But presently, I'm using my iPhone XS Max, yeah? And I'm using a ring light natural light from the window and a beautiful muse because i'm on equipment to my channel <laughs> anyways yeah so that's it so i decided to just start with what i can easily make use of and not get tired and be consistent and just stick to it so using for the editing apps i, I movie and i use video shop and uh, what else i use iMovie and i use video shop majorly that's what i use for the videos from iMovie i export to video show and that's all and all that. how many boyfriends have i had Ugh. okay so i think i've had about let me see let's just say 49 What? I think I've been counting on my class teachers and all the boys in my class. What is that? No way. Um, can I remember? Maybe officially, I think I had like five boyfriends. Even though I always wanted to have one and one in room, but I ended up having like five official and I had about say 20 unofficial boyfriends. We're just, you know, let's let's see how it goes. And it didn't go well. So I mean the five official ones were with my genotype that caused the issue and um, our genotype yes because my genotype is AS. Guys, AS family. I'm going to be addressing this in another topic. Ah God has given us an assignment. I'm not even joking. Like our assignment is you know God just created us on it. Bam. He now said your genotype is AS. Bam. He now said, go ye into the world and find AA. <sighs> Funny thing is that most AS people, you search, search, search. You now get to the point where whatever guy you meet, the first question I ask me is, hey, please, what's your genotype? And then the guy, if either the guy runs away because he feels like you're too fast, or then the guy just like hangs around and then he's probably, he probably has something good to do with you. And then sometimes it's just like really weird. Why are you asking me for my genotype? Because even the guy, girl, might be AS, and he doesn't even know how he's going to ask you because then the girl is looking for A, A, S, E. But if I end the conversation, 
no man but anyways I, I think i should count myself very lucky because after like several trials we we'll finally find it ha. anyways now i don't wear earrings weird right i used to wear earrings but i've stopped i think in about a year now i've not worn earrings so if you ever see me wear earrings someone forced me why why do you need it of course if i have events i can wear it but why what wait is it that i'm ugly i'm not so why do i need it but anyways i'm just what happened what made me stop it i think it has it does something to my ears and i cannot stand you know so people tell you take out your earrings every night don't sleep with you don't have your bath with it i do not have chills i don't have time for all i'm not a routine person that's why i'm not a skincare person you know as much as i'm a fan of aisha cosmetics she knows me i'm not a use this in the morning use this in the night so when it's time for me to buy my skincare product she knows what to give me okay use this once and you're fine right i'm not a do this in the morning nah i'm not watch tv nah, eh? i do not watch tv i don't like tv i'm not a fan of it i mean i hardly subscribe not because i cannot subscribe but he's watching this but then when i have my subscription on i'm always watching investigation programs crime investigation programs it's very freaky it's very scary but you know i mean i i, I learn a whole lot from it it has made me very conscious of things around me security conscious and all that and and yeah very like mindful of people like you have to be very careful because you don't know who you have around you this is the, this is the people that you have around you that you least expect that actually do have like bad intentions and all of that the, the disadvantage of watching that channel is that you are going to be scared it's going to fill you with fear and you really do not want to be filled with fear because trust me you do not need that because i realize that when i'm sleeping and I'm, I'm checking my windows checking my doors you know i mean you don't want to live a life of fear but, okay so i don't watch tvs i don't watch african magic i don't i don't go to the cinema you know i don't i want to go to the cinema if there's a movie that i'm really looking at for my target audience for my youtube channel has got to be the youths now i'm really about the youth because i feel like you need to like make very good use of your time now it sounds very interesting it sounds very fun and exciting that you have all of the attention and you get to do whatever it is that you want and everything but the honest truth is that you need to make a very good use of it and like i said my life is like a story because so many people i mean i've got a lot to learn from it and that's why i like referring to you in anything that i say i feel like you need to be very mindful of the decisions that you make at this very point in your life and i'm referring to those between the ages of like 16 to about 20 28 they're about yeah I and mean, you just need to understand that you, i mean whatever decisions you take at the early stage is definitely going to affect you later and of course not limited to kids you know the earlier you start learning and getting used to these things it helps you and then the older people it's also good because i don't want you to feel like because you didn't do certain things at this point in your life at the point in your life doesn't mean like it's a way i mean you're useless now or you can't do it i'm going to be uploading often every week so every sunday i promise i promise i promise guys every sunday i'm gonna be putting up a video on my youtube channel because i feel like sundays are like my rest days and it's gonna be in the evening everyone's gonna be back from church all settled watching tv or preparing for the week you know you might as well just watch my videos so um i think that's basically some of the things that is like on top of my head that i feel like you guys should like know about me for some time i can be very playful yeah i can be very very playful i have a feeling that my child is going to be very playful because uh, i like me i'm not a comedian my jokes are not funny but i can be very uh, i'm widely misunderstood most people think that i can be rude and they say oh she's proud i'm like what do i have Kill money i don't have anything you know and think that i'm proud but i'm not some people think i'm rude yes i'm not gonna lie to you sometimes i do not take crap from people i, I don't care i really don't need you to like me that's your honest truth 
I'm sorry, I really don't need you to like me because one thing I'm very certain of is that when you have such misconceptions about me, you are this same person that will come back and say something else later. So I really do not have the time to be to need you to like me. But let me not tell you the honest truth. I can be very disturbed about what people think about me. Yeah. I can be very bothered. But then I have someone that's like very special that I really like and then she always tell me stop being bothered about what people think about you. You really should not care. Do not be bothered what they think. Leave them. Let them do their thing. Do your thing and if they're gonna come around, come around. And then she would tell me to say you cannot force anybody to be your friend. That's the honest truth. Not like I'm I'm forcing it hard to be because me, I'm just I'm not saying I, I mean, I do, not, I do not think it's wrong to want to be a friend. But sometimes, when some people don't want to be your friend, it's obvious that you don't want to be your friend. Stop forcing it. And that's what I do. And that's where I get hurt a lot. So, all of that is changing, Sha. Because Mutin strong. Mutin Kala. You know, there's somebody Mutin Kala. <laughs> Mutin Kala. But yeah, it's a lie. I still get it. How many countries have I traveled to? Okay, so aside the fact that I lived in the UK for a part of my life, I, I've been to Ghana, and funny thing is that like God doesn't want me to travel. No, I'm not even going to lie. I'm not going to fake it. God just does not want me to travel. Not because I don't have what it might take me to travel, but something just keeps coming. I'm like, why? Why me? Why Lord? Why Lord? But anyways, yeah, so I've only been to Ghana. I have three sisters, guys. Three hardworking sisters. Both of them are married. I'm the only unmarried gay. But very soon, I'm gonna shock you guys. <laughs> because I'm gonna be getting married. I really don't wanna bore you guys with my get to know me video. You know, this is my YouTube channel and you guys are gonna subscribe, right? Like you're gonna hit the subscribe button right now, right? You're gonna click on the bell so that you can get notifications for my videos, right? Yeah, you're gonna do that now? Mm -hmm. All right, yes. So because you guys are gonna be stuck to my video, I mean, you guys are gonna be visiting my channel often and um, you're gonna get to know me. You're gonna find out things about me, things that I probably would not mention in this video. And yeah, so I'm really hoping that it's not going to be a waste of your time and i'm going to hope that we're going to get to know each other more and i need you guys to be very interactive in my comment section drop your questions drop your answers if you like my videos let me know if you don't like it let me know tell me what you want to see in my videos and i'm really do hoping that in my subsequent videos you are going to get what you came here for All right so guys um till the next time so i'm gonna see you guys in my next video and bye guys don't forget to subscribe like and turn on my notifications thank you